Okay, it's me again. I'm back. I'm going to show you how to make uh, little sushis, which this is honestly my favorite piece to make of the bento box. So we need it 3D. We need it to pop out. I think I found a pretty um, efficient way to make sushi. So at your table, you'll have these little black strips. All you need to do for this little black strip is glue it in a little circle like this. Now, I've been using the this kind of glue, the wet glue. If you want to use a glue stick or if you want to use a tape, up to you find what works for you but if you use glue you are you are gonna have to hold it for a little bit and make sure that it stays okay so once it stays you're just gonna take some white tissue paper and crumble it up not too much like not a tiny little ball but like that and you're just gonna stuff it in there it might take one if you want a little bit more fuller you, it might take two to stuff in there I figured this is a little bit better than cutting little tiny pieces of white paper for rice and trying to get that to pop up because remember we need it to pop out to be a sculpture. Um, so this works really nicely. If you have a different way, um, do it. You can try it out. You know, there's not one right way to do everything. Uh, and you have your creative license, so feel free to use that. Okay, so I've already made a bunch of little sushis. And you know what? It would be kind of cool too. Um, totally up to you, but if you cut little pieces of paper to make it look like the insides, because sushi has sometimes little pieces of salmon inside, or crab, or avocado, and all sorts of different stuff. You could cut little pieces like this, and you can glue that on top of your tissue paper to make it look like little pieces. So that's kind of fun. A lot of fun. Yeah, just a little bit of glue. Stick it on top. Make sure that it's secure in there on top of something. You're gonna have to manipulate it a lot to make sure it's showing how you want it to show. So you get the idea. You can glue things down like that. Okay, if I just leave this like it is without being attached when it it's time to put it away it's going to go everywhere and your sushis might be lost for eternity so you have to secure everything you guys before you leave art class um, when you're making your sushis I would say at least four looks really nice kind of the more you have the cooler it looks like a little packed actual bento box so six is a nice number but if you have four and you put it in the smaller space that's okay too if you have just one sushi by itself um might look a little lonely but you know you do have a creative license so you might have other ideas i, I don't know if i found a great way to glue this down in the past i put some um wet glue around the rim the bottom of the sushi and really held that in there for a while to make sure it sticks. Or you could take some tape and you could take your tape and make a little tape, what I call it, a tape roll. And make a tape roll so it's sticky all the way around. And then you could stick that on the bottom. And you're also gonna kinda need to glue the tissue paper to the side of this. This is supposed to be like the seaweed part of it so it stays and I would spend a while working on these little sushis sticking them in there and putting cool little pieces on top if you um, have had sushi before or know a different way uh, that sushi looks be my guest make it have fun with this so that's how to make the little sushi parts